Um, very, very pleased. I thought the players really did a, a nice job. And I, I, our, um, uh, Fort Wayne is, is they're 7-2. They're, they're very well coached. Uh, they've had a great start to their year, and they have a lot of good players. We were very concerned uh, with, their, with their two of the top players, and, and Zach and Ben, and I thought our players really did a nice job defending them. Uh, one of our focal points was to try to help limit their three points uh, because they're so devastating in the three-point line, and, and we held them to zero for four shooting, and that's a compliment to, to Brandon and, and the other four perimeter people. Uh, I thought that Brandon and, and Jake and, uh, excuse me, Brandon and Jay and um, Eric uh, uh, out there, and then Howard and Matt, those five, really did a good job on 10 and 12, and I thought that was a real uh, key for us. I thought Kevin gave us a great lift first half coming in and, and rebounding and getting some baskets inside uh, that, that really helped us uh, early. We got off to an early lead, I think something like 15-4, and, and then they made a good run at us at 26-20. And then we finished the half strong, and we were trying that last four minutes to, to get a double-digit halftime lead, and, and the team really did a nice job with that. Then second half, we were able to keep the lead, and that's the big thing. In Toledo, we lost the lead, and this, uh, today they, they really made sure that we never got into single digits. And, and uh, then I thought Brandon hit a couple really big shots as the clock ran down for us that just kept the momentum uh, going uh, with us. Uh, but I thought that... Uh, We've got to handle the ball better. We, we had 15 turnovers, which is which is something that we've got to do a better job with. Uh, and we've got to do a better job. They had 14 offensive rebounds. Uh, but was really pleased with the execution and moving the ball to the offense and just much better defense tonight. And that's a compliment to, to this group of guys. Well, Questions? In all your years, have you ever had a team that had a few assists as three? Wow. That's a great question. And, and, and Fort Wayne's a much better passing sure. team than this. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. they really share and pass the ball well. Well, I can't remember one right offhand. Uh, but I, I, I hope that we had something to do with that. But I, that's a good recognition. I didn't even catch that one. Was that because of the, the outside guard pressure? Is, is that where a lot We tried to put the pressure on the guards to not let them have those open three point shots because we know how good they are as shooters. Good catch on the three assists. I wonder how big was uh, Kevin coming in and, you know, with all the energy he brings out of the Huge, day. because when Corey hit that floor, he got a real sore hip, so it really uh, allowed Kevin more time, and, and his back was a lot better today, and it was just really good to see Kevin's mobility inside and, and good hands and, and being able to catch and then finishing in traffic. A lot of times he had three-point uh, play it's five <coughs> five four miles and it's a great compliment to Kevin with the hands to be able to get it up with contact uh, and score on the inside like that. And I thought we had more than 14 assists because boy, it seemed like Brandon got the ball inside a, a great deal and, and we had some easier baskets, you know, off of that because of some good passing. Kevin, do you like that role well, relative well, come off the bench and bring a lot of energy like that? Yeah, I just uh, I just love being being able to, to get Corey some minutes when he's like starting and getting his mind say he's not going very well. I just do what I can for the team and just bring a lot of energy and try to do what I can. <coughs> try to get the lead, that's what we did. I really love how we played. Brandon, was there kind of a, uh, a sense tonight that you weren't going to let this one slip away and have it to be off? Uh, yeah, we, we really didn't want to let that happen again. We didn't want to give up the lead, so uh, we just tried to try to take some time off the clock and get good shots. So, uh, by us moving the ball and making more passes, uh, that lowered the possessions and that gave them less of a chance to, to actually get back in the game. So <clears throat> I think we just did a good job moving the ball and getting the ball inside, getting easy shots. Two big spurts, I thought. We got off to a good start, and then again, we finished that first half. And when you mentioned uh, about Brandon, we had Brandon had an assist in there, I think, and then Ryan made a wonderful pass to Mike uh, for a layup, and then Eric Bunch hit you know, a big jump shot for us. So I thought all of that momentum really helped us to, to get a, a good halftime lead. 
They only shot 26 percent from the floor, but you guys were able to get 50, 52 percent in the first half and 40, roughly 47 for the game. It seemed like you guys were getting a lot of shots from the basket. Was that a focus of your offensive attack? We we tried. I was very pleased with both Brandon and Kevin. They really shared the ball well, and we we tried to look for a high percentage shot. So that was a nice compliment uh, to the team. I thought they really made the extra pass. Did you guys have a normal practice week with finals, or did you? It was here, there, everywhere. <laughs> it was seven at night. It was uh, eight in the morning. Who had what else did we go? So it was probably the most intense week we've had. So really, yeah. was that because of the Toledo game, or just because of yeah, because we knew we had to get back on track and stay focused, and couldn't couldn't just let up and just think we just cruise through. Prepare ourselves hard and be ready for the game. We execute the game we do. Are you guys in practice tomorrow? We sure will. We will leave tomorrow. And we'll, we'll practice up at Oakland tomorrow. Okay. What do you feel about going up there again? Uh, after all the so years that we've gone up, I just hope we don't hit snow and the bus breaks down or, or <laughs> snowstorm up there. So uh, that's usually what happens when you head up the north of yeah. Detroit area up there. It'll be a really good tournament that we open with Eastern Michigan, who's very talented, very athletic. Um, and of course, Oakland is really playing very, very well after beating Tennessee. But uh, we all had a pretty good uh, string of uh, luck against Oakland at the beginning. We got to get that far. We got Eastern is is the next stop we got. What, what can, you, can you say a little bit about them? Uh, the record is very, very deceiving. There, they're probably we're going against one of the best players that we we faced. Um, he's very talented, they're very athletic, um, and they play a very challenging schedule. So uh, don't be deceived. It's like Toledo. Toledo's record wasn't impressive, but they played very, very good competition, and they were very close in any of the games. And on any given day, anybody can step up and get hot. Brandon, you played against some of these guys in high school tonight? Uh, yeah, I got it. I'm actually close with, uh, with Jeremy Mix and Antoine Wood. Uh, me and Antoine would play in the same conference. Uh, and Ben Boss, too. And Beckenbauer. And Beckenbauer, yeah. We played play against them three or four years in high school. But yeah, Antoine Boyd and Jeremy Mason were out there very close. Do Anything else we can help you with? Have a very, very Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs>